You know what it is. We back again. This is week three of the Discovery series. Now seriously, if someone could discover the cure for coronavirus, that'd be good. But today, we are discovering peace and patience. Two topics, one lesson, which means the teaching time will be doubled. Ain't nobody got time for that. Lesson summary. We discover patience and peace when we endure struggles and focus our thoughts and emotions on God and the truths of His Word. We're going through some tough times right now, but God has given us peace and patience when we are patient and we wait on God. God gives us peace. God is taking care of everything, you guys, and all we have to do is wait on Him. And the best way to wait on God is to learn your Awana lesson and do your handbook. So let's start with patience. We discover patience when we trust God through tough times. I read in the newspaper earlier that we may be quarantined until May. Um, That's one more month to go. I've also talked to some of you guys and you're telling me that you're bored. And I'm bored too. I am out of video games. It is a national emergency, an epidemic of global proportions. I am out of video games. Not cool. But... Patience is important. When we wait, we learn to trust God. God is in control and He is taking care of everything. Romans 12.12 says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Affliction is something that causes pain or suffering. The coronavirus is an affliction. But the Bible says to be patient when we are suffering. So guys, let's try to be patient and let God do his thing. God is going to take care of all of this. We just have to wait. All right. Next, we discover peace when we give our worries to God. Some of you guys might be worried about school. Some of you might be worried because your parents aren't working and you might not have enough money to buy stuff. You know, food, toilet paper, soap, all of that, right? Or you might know someone who's sick. Heck, you might even be worried that you could get sick. But here's the thing. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So whatever you're worried about or scared about or troubled by, give it to God and he will give you peace. And the Bible calls it peace that you cannot even understand. I remember a few years ago, Um, I was thinking of quitting my job, and before I made the decision, I went to talk to Pastor Sean about it, and at the end of our talk, Pastor Sean agreed with me that I should quit my job. Well, of course, I was worried, I was scared, um, because I never had to quit a job before. So the night before I quit my job, I prayed to God a pretty simple prayer. It was, God, I'm worried about this. Please, please, please give me peace. I was able to sleep really well that night. It was probably one of the best sleep I've ever had in a long time. And it felt like God had put a fence around my brain so that all these negative thoughts, all the worries and fears I would have, it felt like it was bouncing off. And it was amazing because I wasn't worried when I woke up. You know, things worked out because God was in control. All right, so we discover peace when we are in God's Word daily. I know you guys have schoolwork to do, um, but I want to encourage you guys to read your Bible every single day. Or if you're tired of reading, our church has nightly video devotionals on Facebook. Starts at 7 o'clock p.m. They're broadcasted live, but if you miss it, uh, they're also uploaded on Facebook. So you can search for it, you know, there. Also, Children's Ministry has a Facebook page, and there are Bible lessons available. Guys, it's important to spend time with God in this moment, whether or not you're at church. You know, He wants to give you peace, but you can only get peace if you spend time with God. Here's your memory verse, uh, 2 Thessalonians 3.16. Now may the Lord of peace Himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Here are some questions you can think about. You can answer them in your head. You can write them down. 
You can discuss them with your parents or your pet. Next week would have been bunny ears night. Um, Also, it would have been a shopping night, but because the school is closed down, we will not be able to do that. Don't forget to let me know once you finish your section. Stay safe, everyone. I'm praying for you all, and I'll catch you next time.